Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Chris, and of course, this is my channel, Barnon11970. Thank you, as always, for checking out my video. Uh, for those of you who have been wondering where I have been the past couple of days, this was my birthday weekend. Um, I turned 44 on Sunday, so I decided to, you know, spend the time with my family and everything and enjoy a couple of days off. So just wanted to let you guys know where that stood. But I wanted you to watch this video with one of the people that are... People who don't really believe in what's going on in the world or not, they're, they're not really sure. So if you have a friend or a family member that you want to ask them this simple question and see what they can come up with. And this is one of those things where they'll actually have to research to be able to see the answer. And if they do that, that might actually put things in a better perspective. So the question I want you to ask, and if they're watching it, it makes it a lot easier. We know that we borrow money from what's called the Federal Reserve. Now, most people believe or assume that the Federal Reserve is part of this country because it has the word federal in it. And that is just not the case. It is not part of the United States. It is actually a privately owned, basically a privately owned bank. Now, here's the thing I want to ask the people out there. Who owns the Federal Reserve? Now, those of us who have been researching pretty much know this answer, but it's not something they make public, so you're going to have to do a little research. So the reason that this is important is because basically we get our money, quote unquote, from a private bank that they're really not going out of their way to tell who owns. Now, why is that important? Well, one of the reasons why there were problems with John F. Kennedy is he wanted to um, initiate what was called Executive Order 11110. Four ones and an O. You could Google this and you could look it up. Executive Order 11110 was basically going to abolish the Federal Reserve, make have our country and the U.S. Mint make their own currency, which would have brought silver or even possibly gold back into the mix. Right now, our currency is backed by nothing more than debt, promises, and maybe you can say oil, because if you don't know anything about the petrodollar, P-E-T-R-O, that's another thing I would check into. But if you think about it, wouldn't it make sense if your own country made its own currency? And in this country, that's not the case. Now, again, why is that prevalent? Well, when you earn income, Unless you've inherited it or won it in some kind of contest or stole it, which I wouldn't recommend, most of the time you're earning it, which means you have to work creating labor to get a paycheck, which is your currency. The Federal Reserve, what do they do? How do they accumulate trillions of dollars when one, it's not backed by anything? And two, you don't see Federal Reserve employees doing some kind of massive construction or massive whatever to earn all of these trillions of dollars that they lend out to our, our people. Basically, our banks is what it pretty much boils down to. They turn around and give us this made-up money out of thin air in the form of either a check or digital numbers in a bank account, or sometimes some cash. I mean, good luck trying to get $20,000 worth of cash out of a bank. They'll, uh, they'll basically give you the third degree until next Sunday to figure out what you're using it for. For some reason, it's their business to know what you do with your money. But when you have to get, for example, a loan, you don't have, you can't pay them back by just writing numbers on a piece of paper or typing digital numbers in an account, say, here you go. You have to have the currency in your account to back up a check or back up a transfer. But yet, where does the Federal Reserve get their money from, their money? So the homework assignment I have for the people out there who, who are not sure about all these things and think everything's going as, you know, according to plan, I want you guys to look up who owns the Federal Reserve. You'll be very shocked to find out the answer to that question. And then basically f ask yourself, why is our own country not making its own coins, making its own currency? 
I mean, the U.S. Mint does make quarters, nickels, dimes, pennies, half dollars. They do make the coins. That's why they say United States on them. But if you look a little bit closer to a dollar, a $10 bill, a $20 bill, they say they might have the name United States on them. But there's also another word called Federal Reserve Note. It's basically a receipt that they, our government deems as having value. But it's backed by nothing. The Federal Reserve, which is a private-owned bank, just creates it out of thin air, loans it to us, and we have to work to get the currency to pay for whatever we borrow plus interest. So you might want to ask your local politicians, you might want to ask your president or your governor or any politician why this is the case and why we the people allow this to continue when the few at the top profit off of the majority of people who are struggling just to get by. So I hope some of you will watch this with some of your friends and family that you care about that don't really believe in this stuff. Because like I've said in several videos, belief is irrelevant. You don't have to believe in oxygen to breathe it. So let's see how many of you actually do some research and discover some of the things that some of us have been trying to teach. Because it's one thing to hear it from somebody else. It's another to look it up and see it for yourself. So I hope you will do that. Do that with a friend. Do that with a loved one. Do that with a coworker. And then when you find out the answer and it upsets you, which it should, maybe we the people will actually, instead of sitting by allowing them to get rich off of our tax dollars and our labor, and maybe we put a stop to it so this way we can earn what we deserve. I don't think that's unfair to ask, don't you? Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Leave some comments, and let's hear what some of the people have to say. Happy hunting. Peace.